I will insert two double M batteries. Okay, hold it. So all you do is like this. So this, you just pull it up. Ah. Okay. Pull it up. I came so close to doing that this morning. So that didn't trust. The molecules we see, the mitochondria in your cells. That helps, though, yes. You know, the mitochondria in your cells has these particles called matrix. This space called matrix. It's thick fluid called matrix. And what the matrix does is it processes the negative energy, meaning the negative particles in the cell, the matrix. It's this viscous, like oil, viscous fluid. I said it right. And what it does is it filters our body's uh, exposure to uh, carbon monoxide, the dirty air, pollution, the stress, perhaps bad diet. So what does it process all that? And when the body's overwhelmed to this toxins, exposure of carbon monoxide, high stress level, and poor diet, what it does is it shuts down and then virtually the cell dies. Hence, physically, biologically, we see uh, more aging going on, stress, eye bags, all these things don't sleep, right? It doesn't happen to me. No, not at all, sir. Not at all. You get younger, you get everything. Nah, like a dog. <laughs> uh, where it's going and how it's gonna decentralize the world and speed up the global economy for the next <laughs> generation. <laughs> How's that sound? Can you go that fast? Can you keep up? That's the question. That's, uh, that's, that's a the more important question. Can you process the information while not choking on your food? <laughs> when was the first time you heard of the internet? Tell me your experience. Ninety-three, maybe. Was it on ABC, uh, NBC News with Helen? Were there? Okay. Because in 1993, there was a very influential interview with, she still does broadcasting to this day. Do you know who I'm talking about? Uh, in, in 1993, she, she's one of the longest anchors on NBC News. One of the longest, Katie, for, oh, Katie, oh, no, Katie, um, Couric, Couric, Mrs. Miss Couric, uh, she's been, Miss Couric was a host on NBC News mm -hmm. since 19, probably late 1990s, when she was a early, her early 20s, yeah, but she, she just graduated, she just finished, I believe, for, you know, after 30 years on air, but there's a very, Influential interview in 1993 when you heard about the internet and an expert matter came on the on, on the interview and Katie asked Kirk asked him, "Sir, please tell us about the internet. What is the internet? What is this at symbol? In fact, we have a website. We have an email." Tell us about the email. We have an email. NBC News at Yahoo.com. What is this ad side? Right. So the, at that time, the approach was kind of technical, right? Today, we don't think twice about the ad side. It's just, it's just a code, code in the system. Ad, just the way it's done. So in 2022, we're having the same dystopia mindset about blockchain and cryptocurrencies. People want to know the technicalities that are really irrelevant as they go about their day in day-to-day -day usage. But because it's a new revolutionary concept, people want to know what it is. So I to as a as an educator in the space, I'm kind of 
having a challenging time trying to educate people what it is because they ask just technical questions and they don't know the reference questions where they're coming from. They don't have a reference point. Just like in Google it. Google it and Google each word, right? Google it. <laughs> so back to my story. Internet. You heard about the internet in 1993. And tell me your experience about it. So I think it was 96 when I signed up to Costco and my uh, landlord says uh, you should buy a Costco card because everything you buy is going to be there but uh, you might also look at you know, here's this display at Costco of every kind of laptop you ever wanted. Plus, um, you know, just the larger kind of things. And so, I was using his um, internet site, what it was called, to talk to my friend in Ohio, my uh, cousin in Ohio. And she was wonderfully uh, delighted that we could talk every so often rather than wait for me to come home. Mm -hmm. So that was, its, that was its purpose when I first got it. I had no clue that it would take me uh, uh, to Google it. Well, I didn't even know about Google at that time. I think it probably was the new millennium before I got into yeah. that. Because Google came after the dot-com burst. Google was born and came out as a winner after the dot-com has burst, right? And Amazon's, and the Google, the Yahoo was already around. Mr. Gates? Yeah. Apple came around as a... Uh, uh, AOL. Yeah, AOL is dwindling down now as far as a provider goes. But at that time, AOL was big. You probably used AOL. If you, in fact, I you still use the AOL? I don't think so. That was the first internet provider. It was? Yeah, one of the first. Yeah. At AOL.com. Well, the whole .com thing was puzzling. Uh, <laughs> Even uh, five years ago, maybe. Uh, Tim was still using www. You don't have to use that anymore. World Wide Web. Yes. Boom. You know, it's, it's out of there. And when did that disappear? Around the millennium, I would say. When? Around the millennium. Um, I've been living out in this little corner of the world for me uh, since 1996. And that was when my landlord and I decided Costco and the stuff that was there. I signed up to Verizon out there. And, uh, you know, that, like you say, it's a whole new world. Just discovered daily new things that come around. You're, you're kind of like the Columbus of your time, weren't you? <laughs> Discarding the new World Wide Web. 1996. Imagine you have, as a user, you have the whole world available to you at the fingertips, right? So that's kind of the revolution back then, right? That was the whole concept. But it was hard to use, it was technically challenging, and people quite simply lacked the patience, right? Except for the kid. Except for the kid. We'll get back to that. So, back then, there was no infrastructure, the broadband, to really make life practical. Right? You just said, ah, I'm fine using the rotary phone. <laughs> uh, I'm fine saying a big mail. Remember yeah. the bricks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the old friends. Yeah, you can use it right now. Right here's a Hello. Who are you? Phone. Ah, yes. Is this the Cookie Monster? It's I'm the Cookie Monster. <laughs> okay. All right. 
take a five minute break. This is a good one. Got more out of than I had expected. Very good. Mr. Shakespeare and <laughs> the internet. God. Try to, you know, if Mr. She bring up Mr. Shakespeare, only if Mr. Shakespeare was here right now, what would you ask him? And how would you even tell them about the internet? Wow, right? Yeah, I think they'd be focusing on the plays for the whole. That most definitely. But um, he was not at the place where he could accept anything like this. It would be one of the witch, witches, uh, things, you know. Witchcraft. <laughs> it would, yeah. It really would. <laughs> it would be. From, from the outer space, and all that sort of thing. But one of his most fundamental plays is to be, uh, to be or not to be, right? Uh -huh. To be or not to be. That's true. Right? That is one of the most famous ones. Is that right, Jim? <laughs> Contemplating. You cannot say that in any language without anybody knowing what it means. Okay, there you go. Well, as, as far as I understand, it's to live or die. That is the question. And that was the mystery. Right, yeah. And that was the mystery of the ages. Well, his whole attitude, his whole reasoning for that, to take us all through all these hidden centuries and take us to that moment where the new things that we discover help us to get to the next level of whether we should die or not. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have that choice, but uh, my father lived 89, and I have a feeling that he, his life was taking on him by his stepmother. That's a pretty sad thing to have to say when my cousin agrees. And because of that, I think he had a pretty inquisitive mind, but yet he was a wee potato man. Okay. But it's Sorry. not, yeah, it's not something that, uh, that I want to have happen to me, right? So when he left at 89, I told my cousin, I'm going to make it to 90. I'm going to make it further. You know, I'm just going to keep pushing for that because you cannot. I cannot have other people find you. I won't go into detail. Okay. Yeah. okay, thank you for sharing that, Jim. So, what... Here's the... Here's the thank you for that sentimental... Uh, okay. Sentimental... Uh, it's just... It's just a fact. Fact of life, right? Fact of life. So, now, as a follow-up question to what we're talking about, the internet, bring us back into this current time, in the age of 2022. Now we're talking about, in the 2022, we're talking about the future where you can upload your consciousness into the World Wide Web. Whoa. Add it that, Jim. You gotta add it that in your Boom. So, if I had Shakespeare right here, right now, and I would, I would tell him that, I'm sure his to be or not to be speech would have some different dynamics to that, huh? Because... Slings and arrows, outrageous fortune. Keep going, that's good. Outrageous <laughs> fortune. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, so... He's complaining about the world. Yeah. In that whole speech. So, here is, we're in a time and age where we're having the largest transformation of, of 
of information. Yes. And that's and I hope that humanity can learn from the history because we have history available to us. Well it's we saved yeah. in the databases. Yeah, I don't know that that people want to know history so much. They don't. I am actually that's sad to know like I was the same way when I was a kid. I didn't want to know history. I wanted to know history of music. I wanted to know history of theater, whatever. But not. I was not interested in Napoleon, Wellington. So anyway. I, I think that it's a um, forever involving new things, new ideas that make us evolve, push, no, we'll push the trajectory of where we're going in space, but we're uh, spending forever. Yes. So the the, the follow-up question to you is how do you think the advent of the internet how how do you how how ha, here's the question. How has the internet and access to broadband and Verizon you mentioned and Costco uh, has changed your life. Well, I'm amazed at the whole credit card nonsense. 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 Well, credit card. I don't know what I would consider nonsense, but I don't deal with uh, dollars and cents, and you deal with that you hand them, you get your money back, bank card, and uh, the bank card, okay. bank card, and you don't even have to do that anymore. People can uh, take your order and put it on your card and send it to you. That's what I did Wednesday. Wow, you are, uh, you are very modern. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We're talking to a modernist over here who's refusing to change. No, I'm growing and I'm learning. Uh, the sad part is that the things I bought online Wednesday has been discontinued and I cannot get them anymore. <laughs> you think civilization's going to go downhill when they lose the dollars? And I'm not so much. <laughs> I'm not so much that. Uh, I do know that things are changing. Here's a good example. I just found out this morning. Ivanka, our dear Ivanka, is selling her Christmas ornaments online only. Crypto currency. Does that scare you? No, it's a hype. Well, that may be. We do not endorse the trust. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Maybe give them a 5% commission. Very good. Okay. If, if, if I get the car back fixed, he, he can even sign up and get, he got himself a deal. You're doing this though, you're talking about that? No time for that. You can go ahead. I have to go. I'm sorry. Because okay. uh, we like to chit chat too much sometimes. Can you pick me up on Sunday for Shakespeare? Okay. I will have to see. I think I'm done at two. I can. But I will have to install this at your house because you've been holding on to it for two weeks. <laughs> you've been naughty. It's turned into green. <laughs> you've been naughty. <laughs> that is the trade-off. Weekdays, I wouldn't mind that at all. Okay. Weekends, my landlady is great. Weekdays, okay. Yeah. Well, if y'all, I can come back in about an hour and a half. If y'all still here, then I'll give you a ride. Okay.